So this question is a translate word problem question. We know that just given the sheer length of the question. So I'm going to jump straight into it, start reading a sentence at a time, and make sure to write down any quantitative information as I see it. So the very first sentence here says a quadratic function can be used to model the height in feet of an object above the ground in terms of the time in seconds after the object was launched. So it looks like I have a height versus time graph here or a function that, that uh, deals with height and time in these units. We'll see if those are important. The next sentence says, according to the model, an object was launched into the air from a height of zero feet and reached its maximum height of 784 feet seven seconds afterward. So when I see that, it's kind of giving us two ordered pairs, right? We're saying that an object started off at zero comma zero, meaning zero feet in the air and zero time, right? No time had elapsed. And then it got up to its height of seven seconds, right? Because seven, or our time is our X value. And it got up to 784 feet, which is our Y value. So if I were to graph this, that means I'd have a point here for the starting point. And then I'd have a point here for the height. And obviously, at some point, it's going to fall down. I don't know how long it'll take. Probably take another seven seconds. Um, but this is kind of the picture that I get. So I'm told that this is a quadratic function. So that does give me some insight into what the function should look like. Um, because this is a parabola. So the parabola function is y equals, or the parabola equation or formula is y equals a parentheses x minus h squared plus k, where h is the x value of the vertex. For us, that we know that's 7, so h equals 7. And k is the y value of the vertex. For us, we know that's 784, so k equals 784. So my equation or my model is y equals a x minus 7 squared plus 784. Now the challenge with this is I still don't know what a is. I know that a needs to be negative, but I don't know the value of a. So I'm going to plug in the other ordered pair that I have so that a is the only unknown variable, right? So if you recall, we also knew that the object started off at 0, 0. So I'm going to replace y with 0, replace x with 0, and let's see what happens um, in terms of solving for A. So I am going to subtract 784 from both sides. So I get negative 784 equals, and now 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Negative 7, 7 to the second power is 49, so I get 49A. And then, of course, that's crossed out. I'm then dividing both sides by 49. So I'll go to my calculator. And I see that negative 784 divided by 49 is 16. So I get, or negative 16, sorry. So I get A equals negative 16. So my model is really Y equals negative 16 X minus 7 squared plus 784. So what am I being asked to find? Based on the model, what was the height, right? So what's the Y value in feet of the object three seconds after it was launched, so, so when x is three. So I'm just going to plug three in for x there, so I have y equals negative 16. Let's just do the math. Three minus seven is negative four, so negative four squared plus 784. Order of operations tells me to do my exponents first, so this becomes a positive 16. That positive 16 times negative 16 is negative 256 plus 784. So um, let's make that negative and then plus 784 in my calculator. And what I get is that y, which is the height, is equal to 528. So my answer here for the height three seconds after it was launched, right? So not quite up to 784, but if we're at three seconds, that height should be 528.